Hello, everybody. Today is Saturday, so we're in for Sneak Peek Saturday. Mm. Uh, brought to you live from the Walpole Town Library here in this beautiful reading nook of the Pamela Sisson Howard reading nook. <laughs> <laughs> I said that before. It's my favorite spot in the library. It is my favorite <laughs> spot also. We have these beautiful nice chairs and, and a beautiful window <clears throat> to look out. I know it's just really very conducive to some really good reading. Ooh. So today's sneak peek is from The Plot oh. by, she has, a, she has a big name. She has a big name. Uh, Jean Hanf Corlitz, actually. And I read this book, uh, our staff, um, uh, our other staff member, Lil DeCoste, recommends this for everybody and it's a really good read mm. but i'm just going to whet your little appetite <laughs> by reading just the first page so here we go here we go are you ready julie i am ready okay this is part one get the page chapter one anybody can be a writer hmm jacob finch bonner the once promising author of the new and noteworthy New York Times book review novel, The Invention of Wonder. He let himself into the office uh, he'd been assigned on the second floor of the Richard Peng Hall, set up his beat up leather satchel on the barren desk and looked around uh, in something akin to despair. <laughs> The office, his fourth home in Richard Peng Hall, in his many years, was no great improvement on the earlier three, but at least it overlooked a vaguely collegiate walkway under trees from the window behind the desk, rather than the parking lot of years two and three, or the dumpster of year one, <laughs> when, ironically, he'd been much closer to the height of his literary fame such as it was, and might conceivably have hoped for something nicer. The only thing in the room that signaled anything of an actual literary nature, that signaled anything of any warmth at all, was the beat up satchel Jake used to transport his laptop. And on this particular day, the writing samples of his soon to arrive students. And this Jake had been carrying around for years. He'd acquired it at a flea market shortly before his first novel's publication with a certain writerly self-consciousness. Acclaimed young novelist still carries the old leather bag he used throughout his years of struggle. <laughs> Any residual hope of becoming that person now was long gone. And even if it wasn't, there was no way to justify the expense of a new bag. <laughs> Not any longer. Ooh. Ooh. And so many people have raved about this book. In fact, even on the cover, Stephen King. Yes, Stephen yes. King. Yes. yes. Said it was. So it's here. You finished it. It's here. It's here. Excellent. So you come and get it, everybody. <laughs> and see you on Tuesday for the Carolyn Show. And next Saturday for another sneak preview. That's right. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Carolyn. Bye. Bye.